The goal of this video is to present uh, an assembly involving two components to make clearer the, the force and uh, moments analysis in an assembly. So I'm loading a part called uh, support here. I'm going to lo lock it in uh, position. Secondly, I'm going to load a part called uh, lever. Uh, and uh, this part called lever will rotate in the pivot that we have here on the left. Uh, Okay, and uh, we are also going to model a distance between this point and this point. This distance represents the action of a spring. So I'm going to model first the force that is applied by the spring on the blue component. So one rule that is very important when modeling forces on one component is to always uh, model the forces in the same color as the component on which they are applied. Here the lever is in blue, so I switch the force color to blue. Second thing, I'm going to create the force vector here, like this, uh, so that it's applied in the same direction as the spring. I'm going to say that this point should be on the direction of the force, using point on object. Secondly, I'm going to say this is the current length of the spring, this is the force of the spring, then we have three lengths of the spring. Uh, I'm going to say the three lengths will be uh, 60 millimeters. And we are going to enter the K of the spring, which is, uh, let's say, three newtons per millimeters. So then we say uh, the force of the spring is going to be equal to K multiplied by uh, three lengths minus uh, current lengths. Okay, so we validate this equation. So the force of the spring is now calculated. So now we need to calculate the force that we need to apply at the tip of the lever to activate and make it perpendicular to the base. And secondly, uh, we are going to have in the pivot also uh, polarization force that will be applied between the pin and the hole in the pivot. So this force also will be perpendicular to one of the uh, one of the holes, and we are also going to have a friction applied here in the pivot. So I'm unlocking this force because we don't know it. Uh, I'm also unlocking the uh, push force here because we don't know it and we want to calculate it. So now we have over three degrees of freedom. We have represented the three forces applied on the blue lever. And we can do now the sum of forces and sum of moments. So sum of forces involves uh, these three forces plus the friction. Then sum of moments involves this force, this force, uh, this one, this one, enter, and I do the sum at this point. Okay, so now the forces are um, calculated, and we may drive uh, the system using, for example, the heights of uh, the right point with reference to the, the horizontal line of the, of the system. It's also possible to do the polarization effect in the pivot, so to remove the float, uh, then put a tangency constraint between the pin and the hole, okay, and then move the tangency so that it comes close to the force and simply say this point has to be on the force. Okay, so this is the end of this uh, example about force calculation on the blue component. So the rule is always represent all the forces that are applied. Uh, make a summary about what is the value uh, that we want, that we don't know and that we want to know. What are the orientations that we don't know and that we want to know. And then do the solving. Uh, 